are a very politically engaged ethnic group in the United States, and that makes me very, very proud. Just uh, the way that our country has a spectrum of political beliefs and political leanings, our community does too. And to me, the most important thing is that people are engaged and involved wherever that lands them on our political spectrum, because that that means as a community, whoever ends up being President of the United States or members of Congress uh, or members of the administration, that they know that we are involved, that we are watching, that we care, and that we care very deeply about issues affecting our community and the bilateral relationship with Greece. We are just a few months away from the election. I believe very strongly that Hillary Clinton will be a heck of a president, not just as a Democrat, but I think she will be a great president for our country. And it's, it's very important to me to do everything that I can because, not just because I knew her for all those years, but because I worked with her in the State Department for three and a half years. And I, I, I've seen, I've experienced firsthand how she runs a shop, how she runs an organization. The, the kind of camaraderie, the kind of, of positive um, work environment that she created at the State Department was really noticeable. People were inspired by her. Hillary Clinton knows Greece. She knows the country. She spent quite a bit of time there since the time she was First Lady. She has very deep and broad relationships within the Greek American community. She's been to our patriarchate. She brought her husband, the first sitting president of the United States ever, to visit the patriarchate. Now, this I think has to do with her, her relationships, but it also has to do with her respect for our church and for her deep belief in religious freedom. And this is not a new position. She has been involved and engaged with our community now for the better part of 20 some, 25 years, I think, maybe 24 years, showing her respect and admiration for Greece and her, her belief in the importance of the stability of, of Greece, both economic stability and of course uh, the security of Greece. It's called Madam Ambassador, Three Years of Diplomacy, Dinner Parties and Democracy in Budapest. And it's essentially a memoir of my three and a half years in Hungary serving as a U.S. Ambassador. And frankly I was inspired to write it because I came home from this extraordinary experience and I felt that if I didn't sit down and write it down I would forget and I also felt that I really wanted to try to take the opportunity to share what that experience was like because people would always ask me what is it like to be an ambassador what do you do what is a day like and I thought I knew what the job would be like before I took it but even I didn't really know until I I got there and started doing the work of an American ambassador. You know, there are many things. Um, part of it is that you have a top secret SCI clearance and you're reading communications that are not publicly known. And part of this is so that as we formulate foreign policy, we can have these sort of candid internal conversations. Uh, but, you know, you really feel like you're on the inside of this process that, uh, that, that supports the leadership of our country in the world.